This week's not been great either, but here's how we and you can easily prevent these things. What's up everyone, Orion here, coming back with another video as part of this series where I take you through exactly what I was thinking and why I did certain things. But with these mistake based videos, it's kind of like a fast paced mod review, where I'm not only going over what I messed up, but you might learn something from watching. So if you're excited for this video, please give it a like and comment down below the funniest, most preventable way you've died. I'll be looking forward to hearing what's happened to you guys. Also big shout out to Angus for your song request, I'll play it in a sec. And if some of you haven't got a clue what's happening, check out the description box below. Now let's get into it. So this first game right here, straight off the bat, um, we rotated at different times, we rifted at different times and that was not good. Um, so we need to rotate simultaneously in future. And yeah, so I land really close to this metal building and it's quite late in zone as I mentioned before. So it's quite likely that there's going to be a team there farming metal and there is and they think I'm solo, they shoot me, I get cracked unfortunately and yeah I'm just healing up here, Taylor's coming but he's obviously lagging behind so it's kind of like they're taking two 2v1s and Taylor gets knocked there, they kill me and that's game one wasted about 10 minutes and two pads, it could have been a good game but um, I decided to throw it with where I landed. That's very simple. Again, these are all simple mistakes that are very fixable. Just land away from them so they don't notice you. Game two here, we are in a boat trying to rotate early actually. And there's guys up the hill here. You know, this is probably going to happen. They start shooting us. I'm building classic. Taylor's driving and then he goes out from the hill. Um, maybe it was because of the docks or something. He could have driven over it. But because of that, because of the line of sight, they actually, they get a crack on me, they get me to 40 HP as you see, but that was easily preventable. If you just went in closer to the hill, then they wouldn't have been able to shoot me and crack me and then push us because you're going to get pushed in low point lobbies, let's be real. Especially if you're that low, even if it's super far away because kids are maniacs. Um, in this game, we are rotating zone through storm because it's actually, it's actually quite safe and if you have enough med kits, you can easily do it. And I'm calling out to Taylor, rotate plan, you know, we need to go to the fortress, Wait, cannon, cannon go to the blimp. We don't end up going to the blimp, uh, but no, I'm just telling him the plan. He ends up going somewhere else, doing something different in the boat. I told him not to, but I don't know, he might not have heard me or something. Um, he gets in the boat, I get in the cannon, and we have officially split on the rotates. Guys, this is the main mistake in this. Do not split on your rotates. Um, it, really, it really did screw us this game, actually, so... I end up rotating in here. I'm not exactly sure how I survived this. I'm not sure how Taylor did either. There was just no one on his side for a bit. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I didn't get cracked there by the team on the hill. But the team on the hill ends up not being focused on me at all, which is great. Um, I wait for that time and I just run for it when I can. You know, get healed up and then just swim across eventually. And I do eventually get to Taylor, but using line of sight up the hill, there was a team on that hill. I use the same principle, you know, you just block them off with the hill because I can't shoot you. Uh, we end up getting based up here, but we are on a really bad side of zone, as I said. And I should have based us up the hill because it's much easier to slide down. That was another mistake. A uh, lot easier to rotate off elevation. But we end up having to rotate in behind these guys. I do get a fry on them, actually, but then we just end up getting surface sprayed. And then these kids actually come back to bite us as we... I kind of overextended this base to farm the brick and people noticed that, they destroyed the brick so I had nothing to farm and yeah it just kind of all went to ruin, we had no mats and this team pushed us in from behind when we could have easily held them. So don't split on your rotates is the main point of that, we could have been on a better side of zone. Here I'm just shooting guys, you know classic trying to get them off us, trying to get them not to push us and then Taylor right here shoots them with his SMG, weirdly. Um, shoot two guys with orcs we're gonna have to do. Uh, we both get cracked here, and then Taylor gets pushed mainly. He gets hard pushed, he dies. I end up killing this guy, but it just becomes a whole mess with about 14. Taylor fully dies here. I do end up getting his reboot, but I'm just in full survival mode here, trying to get out. And this is actually a really good example, actually, of how to escape from people you just got to keep moving mainly and especially when there's another team it's so easy for the main w key team to get distracted on the other team 
you know, they beam me to 1 HP oh here, I just drop down a layer, just switch layers and keep moving, build out metal, use all your mats, rather to, better to die having used all your mats. Uh, I pick up some reboot cards there, go, 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 go. popping some heals, you can build speed today, flip an egg. Uh, get him rebooted, but unfortunately the team kills him out of the air, and I die as well. So this game, this game is quite interesting, I'm waiting on zone here, Taylor's sniping guys. I'm telling him, you know, we have to, we have to go right now, and there's about a 10 second delay between it, me telling him that and him dropping the sniper and following me, so it's just, this is part of me just not being that strong a leader and trying to become a stronger leader. It's better you just make the wrong call together than make the right call separately, which is kind of what we did in the other games. There's a team in this bush here. They start shooting at both of us. I get a tag on one of them, but they beam Taylor up really bad. And then he doesn't build wood here when you're when he's walking. That's just a minor thing. You really need to build just out of wood when you're rotating. But because we waited a bit longer to rotate, it's possible that they weren't even there. And then even at that, you should have been building. Just build some wood walls. Really, it's it's some maps that's it will actually save the games, as, as you see here. These guys end up fighting us because basically all the games we played in this cash cup, we were just getting W keyed by maniacs because. You know, that's what happens in the low point lobby, you just gotta be able to learn how to deal with it and understand the psychology of these players. And speaking of psychology, actually, I do a really stupid thing though, which is drop down. I assume that uh, we were able to disengage in these lobbies, which you are not, by the way. Uh, we're on 25 points near the end of the tournament, so yeah, people are definitely not gonna stop fighting you. Just keep that in mind, especially when you're in low point lobbies. But I'm not going to go too deep into the into the fighting analysis. Other than this, I way overcommitted there. Both of them are in that box. And Taylor along there is probably going Cracked. to play or no, something. It's, with me. it's okay. The main point of that was yeah, you just need to again to rotate together and rotate very quickly, and also block your angles while you're doing it. This here actually was the only end game we played, and unfortunately it doesn't go that well for us. This could have very easily been like a top five or a top three, but it ends up being something quite a bit worse than that because of what's about to happen in the next couple of minutes. So right here we're just faced up, waiting on zone, basically. And kids, 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 kids. There's two teams that have just dropped off height. You think, hey, we can beam them. You can't place a wall there, so you might as well. Uh, you can't place a wall in one of the spots anyway. So we beam that guy. Uh, I've walked off the other height from southwest, I believe. Yeah, we're just oh, yeah, beaming yeah, the these guys team, and then zone the falls, right? Teams. I'm pretty sure that these guys fighting in metal, those two teams are both on height, therefore one of them probably should have a pad right in front of them, they just finished the fight, okay? So, I bet that they're as good a pad, I'm thinking that in my head, but I don't say it, I need to be a strong leader, I need to be, I need to be more assertive with Taylor, I need to tell him, I need to tell him no, and... I need to actually yeah, no. give well, him a so, no, 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 when people start padding. There's two things you need to do as an IGL to be a strong leader and an adamant leader. Uh, but anyway, he, he's thinking about this boat play. I was kind of thinking about it too for the content, but it's much better content to get a top three. So uh, that was a bit dumb of me as well. And this guy in front of me ends up having pad, I was correct. And Taylor's already gone for that gone for the boat play, you sorry you got, you got beamed earlier, you probably heard that, and then yeah, I used the line of sight trick again, and then I land oh, here shoot, slide, and cracked. unfortunately no, goes I'm my sorry. infantry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, many many times to Taylor, but yeah, I get service sprayed, and I die, here, this was a really scuffed spawn, spawn fight, spawn fight, flip neck, spawn fight, nice. You're so uh, good. Taylor kills one guy with my assistance from afar with a thermal, and then we have this guy who we shoot at for precisely oh, two seconds until we see this guy looking towards us here. Uh, we shoot him, do not tag him once. He goes under us, and this is where the mistake comes in. I do not push this guy for about two minutes. I know for the fact that the teammate of the guy we killed earlier is in the yellow house behind us. Yep, that one right there. And he's peeking out the door, but somehow that discourages me from pushing the guy below me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though the outcome would have been the exact same as it was right here, it just takes me an extra 30 seconds to actually make the decision. Start mining on his top, and he escapes here. It would have turned out the same if I had done that 30 seconds earlier. And it could have even ended with us getting the kill. And maybe even surviving off spawn. Oh my gosh, on me! Could have got this kill and then maybe dipped, I don't know. 
but you know, I just, again, to all you IGLs out there, be a strong leader, that's, that's one of the main things I'm taking away from this week. And this is the last game, because the next one there's nothing to learn from. This is the last game, you know, it's, it's second zone, this is our second to last game, everyone's probably king at this point, you know, it's very low points, you should just expect it, but one thing I talked about earlier, the psychology of the players, if, if we didn't get noticed there, we should just hit in the building to be honest, because these guys, you know, they're psycho oh my they're definitely going to win the fight, but if there's no fight in the first place, and I know how to make that happen, you should go for it, hide in the building, definitely. So, um, I don't know if you guys learned something new from me just ranting on about my mistakes, but if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below if you enjoyed this series, I know that some of you guys definitely do, you know, comment your song requests as well, share this video with your friends, if you found it helpful, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Peace!